All right, so we've been working four days total on this walk-in cooler. I've done two videos on it. I also made a playlist of this walk-in cooler build, so I will leave a playlist down in the show notes of this video. And this is day five and day six of this walk-in cooler build. This walk-in cooler is about eight feet by seven feet. And the plans that I'm using, I'm basing it off the CoolBot website. You can also find uh, their website down in the show notes of this video. I drilled down the flooring and also added insulation. Next is we need to put insulation on this wall. gaps with some spray foam. All right, it's important to cover the seams with some spray foam. And then also tape this seam. Now it's about layering on uh, another sheet of this two inch and then a half inch. I guess that's what makes it a little bit tedious is that you kind of just have to do the same process over and over again on all four walls, ceiling, and floor. Also, I've been staggering the seams so that way the seams are not directly on top of each other. And then the next layers of insulation are all gonna be glued on. adding these screws basically just to hold the insulation in place while it dries. All right, this is day seven of this walk-in cooler build that I'm building for Justin and Rebecca. I installed uh, panels on the outside. I framed out the area uh, where we're gonna put in the actual cooler. So next I need to, I need to cut out for this insert. That's the cooler that's gonna be popped into here. I need to move this electrical outlet uh, that's going to be surface mounted. Now this is not your regular house or shed. <laughs> this is actually a barn uh, converted into a house so the walls are one inch thick. Uh, this is the housing for the cooler. We're going to install this after we put in the insulation. So the insulation is done. <laughs> if 
four and a half inches of insulation. You can actually leave it like this, like leave the cold room like this, the walls. Uh, so, I mean, we need to put in the unit, but as far as the walls, you can actually leave it like this. If you leave it like this, you'd have to be pretty mindful of not to hit this, you know, with some uh, corners or some boxes. You know, I think maybe over time, it would probably show some wear and tear. But in this walk-in cooler, we're putting in a three quarter inch plywood. Now we need to move this electrical box and then surface mount it. Now I'm no electrician. This is basically really simple, just switching out a plug. All right, the unit is in. So this is a regular air conditioning unit that you would put in a window. I still need to install the actual adapter, which is the cool bot. It will cool this room. Uh, I think it gets down to about 30 degrees. Almost done, little by little. It's a little tedious, but it's gonna happen. It'll get done. So yeah, hang in there guys. That walk-in cooler build, I'm almost done with it. <laughs> So make sure you check out this uh, series of videos that I did in that playlist. Again, I'll leave it down in the show notes. And the next video that you will see of this walk-in cooler build series will uh, be the finished complete build. But last chance to register for that DIY abundance member area. Link is in the description. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time.